What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic with another build from a stream. I decided to put this whole mechanism there, and we'll explain what this is in a second, into this car here for the stream. So I ended up making a drift car in a stream a couple weeks ago, and what I was trying to do is make a car that could basically slide and sort of have controlled power slides, because, you know, with any car in Scrap Mechanic you can drive and you can kind of fly into a corner, but it's not really controlled, and so during the stream I made, uh, well, kind of this car, pretty much the same thing, so if we uh, pop it up on the lift here, we've got some nice, simple, you know, McPherson-type suspension here. It's just a, a center pivot arm that then has the suspension piece on this attachment point out here. Uh, originally in the stream, I had these attachment points get pushed down with like a controller mechanism and it put some ride height to it, but I actually ended up removing that and I found it worked a little bit. Oh, all oh, this weird thing's happening again. Okay, good. Yeah, sometimes the suspension, um, yeah, it likes to do its own thing, but I decided to get rid of that ride height a little bit and then I kind of curved out the front here and did a few more details, but I did ask you guys in the stream to vote on your color schemes afterwards, the color scheme that you guys wanted on the car, and I took a look and uh, the one with the most upvotes was a bright fluorescent blue on black with, uh, with some extra detailing and navy underglow. Now, I couldn't do navy underglow because if you paint it navy, you don't actually see anything, but I did do just the regular blue underglow and these blue fenders with these blue sort of double striped action going on. And then of course some white uh, accent pieces. And I, I really like the look of this car, but uh, it is a pretty standard car. I mean, we can, if we, we turn off drift mode there with the three switch, so we'll just keep drift mode off. And uh, you know, it drives like a normal car with, with oh no, I, I clearly have drift mode on. Okay, drift mode, oh no, three is underglow, that's right. Hold on, two is drift mode off, there we go. You can kind of power slide it if you really, really try hard. I mean, we can kind of, let's see if we can, let's see if we can drift this normally here, come on. So you can kind of, you can kind of try and it's, you know, it's very difficult. You don't get that continuous sliding action, at least not with this suspension type. Um, sometimes that happens for some reason. It actually is weird. Sometimes, it, earlier it was happening where no matter what I did, all four suspension pieces would collapse, and I had to actually reboot my entire game. So I don't know what's up with that, but, uh, you know, we, we can keep driving here. That suspension kind of providing a bit of a suspension glitch, which, you know, makes it stable, but uh, also makes it more difficult to turn. And you can see they're just, you know, we're just slowly working our way around the corner. Oh, yeah, no, perfect. Oh, see that one wheel? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to reload my game here. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload, actually, you know what, let's try reloading the creation first. More complicated suspension mechanisms like to break more often now, and it's, it's even on creations that I know have never had issues in the past, that have all of a sudden started having issues with, like, double wishbone suspension. Uh, I don't really know why this is a thing, but, uh, yeah, it's sort of happening, but, you know, like I said, drives like a normal car pretty decently, respawning it, and, uh, you know, all of a sudden that suspension is having way less issues. But, uh, you know, it's very difficult to drift a car like this, unless, of course, we turn on drift mode. In which case, you know, we can pretty much drift anything we want, whenever we want, with, of course, the assistance of thrusters. Now, I didn't want to have it so that the thrusters were difficult to manipulate it. I wanted it to feel very, very natural, like a, well, you know, as, as natural as that gets. But very natural like a real car, because, you know, when you're drifting a real car... You're just controlling the steering and the throttle, and you're kind of steering into the drift, and then you counter steer to get out of the drift. And uh, I really wanted to, to mimic that sort of feel without losing, you know, the, the driving capability, but still being able to, you know, pull some massive kind of... Oh, drifted too much there. But pull some massive, you know, slides through corners and stuff. And so, to do that, I did a thruster-assisted system, and basically what happens is, if we, if we stop moving here, it's actually the easiest to see... But when we stop moving completely and our steering is straight, all the thrusters are off. When we turn to the one direction, the thrusters turn on to help kind of push the back end around. So if we give it a little bit of throttle, you can see it's really helping us turn. But if we really quickly counter steer, which is what you need to do during a drift, it still keeps the thrusters on in that same direction. And this is what allows you to pull sort of those drifts. You can see there, it's naturally trying to force us to slide already. And I mean, you can call it cheating, you can call it whatever you want, but it really, once you get the hang of driving this car, it really gives you the capability of doing some crazy drifts. It's actually really simple how it all works. So we have the steering hooked into an A and D converter right here. And when you first steer, you have two memory bits. And if the right thruster, let's say, is off when you turn to the left, 
uh, I think that's turning to the left, but when the one thruster is off, then that means you're okay to turn in the other direction and activate that thruster. But once the thruster's on, it will stay on until you center the steering for at least 0.35 of a second on this timer, or until you hit this manual reset button, which allows you to kind of flick from one crazy drift on one direction right over to a drift on the other direction. I'll show you. So if we're, if we're turning left, you can see there we've got that one thruster on, which is helping us push ourselves around that one corner let's say and if we turn quickly to the other direction oh actually I, I kind of left it too much in the middle there you can see there it led it to the middle turn left turn to the right and it stays on on the left so this would be us counter steering per se we're turning in the wrong direction according to the thruster and then we let it center and that'll go away same sense we hold right and then we quickly go to the left and we're counter steering now to the left but uh, that right thruster is still on of course if we want to flip directions we just hit the one key which manually resets both, and now because we're already turned to the left, that left thruster would activate. And so this is basically the same mechanism that exists in the drift card. It allows you to really control your drifts simply by steering left and right and hitting that one switch when you when you really feel like you need it. And uh, the beauty of the one switch is it kind of feels almost like an e-brake. Like as you're driving into a corner, it's not actually breaking your tires, but it's causing the entire momentum of the car to shift. And so you'll drive straight, drive straight, and we can just, you can see there, just look at that. Just massive, massive drifts. And it's just so much fun. But again, it takes a lot of getting used to. Oh, boy. And it's very terrible with multiplayer lag, apparently. Uh, I tried recording some cinematic shots. That's what you saw there in the intro clip. And uh, I tried to get my mods in on it. But it was literally impossible to control... Overall, I'm really, really happy with this car, and it's a lot of fun on this dirt track. You just gotta get kind of used to it. See there, we can just, you know, you play with the throttle oh, too much. You kind of play with the throttle, and uh, and you play with the steering at the same time. And you can see just, uh, oh, too much. See, no, too much. Yeah, problem solved. So again, hitting that one key, and of course, you can always hit two anytime you want to turn off the, uh, the drifting capability and go to a manual driving. Oh, sometimes on the straights, it's good to do that. Of course, I'm not I'm not very good at that. Uh, it takes a little bit of coordination. You know, you got to hit one and two. Hit one there, two, and turn on the drifting capability. And all that does is it's just a simple override switch that uh, basically won't allow either of the thrusters to turn on unless that switch is turned on as well. But uh, I encourage you guys, do try downloading this from the workshop. It is, it is a lag-free creation, uh, all vanilla, so no real issues there. But uh, I do encourage you to try downloading from the workshop and trying out your own drifts because it is honestly a lot of fun. It's one of the most fun vehicles I've had to drive. And uh, you can see, okay, so we can just hit the one key there and just massive power slides, hit the one key again. And you can see, I, I left particles on just so you can easily tell where the thrusters are coming out. But uh, you can see there, as we switch direction, just power sliding through that. It's just, it's really quite, quite awesome. Oh god. Oh, jump. No. Oh. Yes, no, no, it's not. It's good. It's good. Solid. I've always wanted a drift car at Scrap Mechanic. I know a lot of people have always bugged me to uh, to work on a drift car. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized, you know, you can do handbrakes and you can do custom motors and all sorts of stuff. But at the end of the day, the only real easy way to get a drift car is to have thrusters shove the car sideways. And you're shoving the back end sideways. So it's, it's pushing the back wheels out rather than uh rather than just you know pushing the entire vehicle and that helps get you not only that slide through the corner there you can see we just hit one just slow down perfect look at that oh god too much that's okay but it allows you also to do that counter steering motion which is really what i wanted in the drift because in a real car if you're drifting you you counter steer to get out of the drift and uh or well i guess to control it a little bit better too but uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun really to try and uh to try and control this thing and obviously you do have to deal with scrap mechanic physics sometimes being a little bit weird but overall i'm really really happy with this car and i encourage you guys do go download it do check it out uh maybe paint it your own color scheme i know a lot of people were voting for all sorts of different color schemes but uh, this is the one that i saw that had the most votes at the time i painted it but uh hopefully it still has the most votes all right we'll turn on the drift oh turn on turn 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 on the drift there we go look at that problem solved Turn off the drift there. Go down this with no drift on because... Oh, nice. Look at that jump. Solid. All right, let's turn on the drift now. 
Oh no 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 no! I, I didn't even I didn't even steer. It's all that uh, that suspension that's kind of in that McPherson setup. It uh, it really does cause a stabilization glitch. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, uh, we're not gonna take the jump because that's just deadly for everybody. As you can see, I'm a great driver. But again, uh, someone please, you know, just send me some some gifts. Or uh, those little video captures or whatever, little like five second ones, and uh, link them on my Twitter or something if you can pull off some crazy drifts in this. Because I would love to see people, and I'm sure someone's going to come up with a better way to use thrusters to make a vehicle drift. But uh, let me know for sure if you do come up with something and uh, send a link because it would be really, really cool to see some awesome drifts. Because I know somebody's going to, you know, learn this car and they're going to tune the suspension and all the cambers just right. And then they're going to actually be able to use it properly. And uh, I'm going to sit here looking like an idiot, which is completely okay. I, I love the way it works. I just wish I could drift it better. And I know the idea is there and, uh, you know, you could say the concept is there. But uh, it definitely just needs a little bit of tuning. So make sure you guys definitely hit that like button down below. And, of course, leave your suggestions for other cool builds. I really like this build. It was a suggestion for a long, long time. And uh, just the mechanism inside it really is what fascinated me. And uh, I'm going to upload this car to the workshop, obviously. If you want to rip it apart, go ahead and rebuild it to your own. Uh, I encourage you to try driving it first, but uh, just be careful if you are ripping it apart. There are a lot of, you know, all that logic over there is kind of jammed into the back. So make sure you maintain that. It is all attached to the floor, so it should be okay. Leave your suggestions for other builds and uh, definitely hit me up on uh, Twitter or Discord or any of those other social media links if you can pull some crazy drifts with this vehicle or, you know, with a vehicle that works on a similar concept. So make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.